Hi friends, today we're going to be adding color to our tricky tessellations. Um, if you have not finished um, adding your details to your um, tessellation or tracing with your black marker, you want to do that first. Um, so any details you haven't finished, finish drawing those in, trace it with your black marker, and take your eraser and erase any of those stray pencil lines. So you can use crayons or colored pencils and for this, the reason why we're going to use crayons or colored pencils is because we can do a little bit of shading with our um, shapes as well to make it a little bit more interesting to look at. Now, I'm going to make these little extra spaces here. I'm just going to make them uh, like a border, and I'm going to be using um, a different color than what I use for my elephants. Now, you have an option. You could do all of your um, drawings or shapes the same color or you could do a pattern. So I think I'm going to do a blue elephant, then purple, blue, purple, blue, purple, and I'm going to do um, a pattern with those two colors. So it's every other elephant. Just to make it a little bit more interesting, you could even do three colors. Maybe I could do blue, green, purple, and then do purple, blue, green, and kind of rotate those colors if you want, but I kind of want to make it a pattern. So I'm going to start um, with my first color blue here um, and as I'm coloring in my elephant I'm going to use crayons but you can use color pencils I love color pencils as well I am going to press hard around the outside edge of my shape just kind of giving it a little shadow I'm going to leave a little tusk blue here and anywhere I think there might be like a little shadow maybe I'm going to bring that the dark area out a little bit more. And again, you can definitely use more than one color for my elephant. It's mostly going to be blue, but maybe I'm going to use another color inside the ears here. Okay. And I'm going to press a little lighter around the inside. Kind of pressing darker around the outside. You can always go in with a darker color as well. It's up to you. And again, it's really up to you how you want to add your color. Color pencils are great for this as well. another color for the inside of the ears here. Maybe I'm going to use a different blue. Or maybe I'm actually going to, you know what, I'm going to use a couple. It's a little bit darker here inside the ears. I'm going to blend it in with my blue. You really can color it however you want. Just think about adding a little bit of shading here and there. You can even go in with a darker color, like I've got this indigo, which is a darker blue. I could add a little bit more of a shadow in here, or there might be a shadow maybe where the creases in my elephant, maybe his little. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to start with my second elephant, and this time I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do purple, and then maybe I'll do blue for the ears. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. Pressing nice and hard around the outside shape. color in the whole thing. <laughs> and I gotta apologize, my document camera colors turn out a little bit different than they actually are in real life, so this might look blue to you, but I promise you it's purple. And I'm gonna go in a little 
later. purple just to blend it in. And you can do totally different colors. You don't have to do similar colors like I did. I'm just going to go in with that indigo just to create some shadows. Now I'm going to continue repeating this pattern until I am completely done coloring in all of my elephants. Now these spaces kind of around the outside edge here, I think I'm going to color a totally different color and just make kind of a border. Maybe I'm going to fade from a light orange to, or a dark orange to a light orange just for fun. But maybe do something a totally different color to really make your colors pop. So maybe if you're using certain colors, use different colors for this area around here. And again, you could continue making this your images and just have it kind of part of your um, animal or object you decide to draw. But sometimes that gets a little tricky knowing what part of your image it is. Okay. All right, friends, I'm going to let you guys get to work um, coloring in your tessellations. Have fun. Think about patterns and take your time.